to Tampa Bay Business Connections, bringing awareness to organizations and added value to their members. My name is Claire Rose and I'm your host today. I'm super excited today that we're actually featuring a organization that's really near and dear to my heart, the West Pasco Pinellas Business Association. And today I have one of their members here, uh, a Chuck Bockteller from Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, and he's going to share about his business today. Welcome, Chuck. Well, thank you, Clara. Thanks for having me today. It is my pleasure. It. It's my pleasure. Thanks for so out. tell me a little bit about what you do. So I'm a real estate agent. Um, I do business all over the county, both Pasco, uh, Pinellas County, a little bit of Hillsborough County. Um, been doing it since 2015. Um, love the business, very passionate about real estate. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to do, it had in my blood. Um, I left my corporate world about 2017-ish. I was doing commercial for a large uh, wireless company. and um, Commercial? Well, Real estate. Real estate. Oh, okay. So same uh, industry. Same industry. Okay. Okay. And when I left them, I uh, decided to go into residential and still have a little bit of commercial, but I really am passionate about the business. Yeah. I, I can tell that. Yeah. So this is kind of a little sidebar that I'm just going to throw in there really quick. At a, a WPBA meeting recently, mm -hmm. like a couple months ago, mm -hmm. you actually shared something that really impacted me. So tell me, it's kind of your philosophy as yeah. a real estate agent. Share that with us. I, I found that was interesting. Well, I take a different approach to the business mm -hmm. because, you know, I don't like, um, I don't want to be necessarily a billboard agent where I have so many clients. I'm, I'm really trying to pick and choose who to service mm -hmm. the best possible way. So my approach to the business is really get a handful of clients, treat them the very best that I can. If I need to bring a team member in, I'm, I'm more than willing to do that. But I, what I don't want to do is get overwhelmed and have so many things to do where customers then service and custom, basically customer service. So I'm right. really after that customer service and treating that person like it's only them. In most cases, it is only them, you know, because I, I don't have... 20 clients that I'm trying to take care right. of at one time. Right. Yeah. So I really loved that when you yeah. said that at our, our group because that said to me, if I refer or send somebody over to you, I know that you're going to take super good care of them. Absolutely. And that's really important to me. So, Absolutely. Um, so I also want to know a little bit about how you're different as an organization. So Berkshire Hathaway is a larger group. Correct? Yes, yeah, so Berkshire Hathaway has been in the county for a number of years. The agency is owned, Florida Properties Group is owned by Dewey and Alan, Dewey Mitchell and Alan Crumley. Um, they're very active in the business. They've been doing this for 30 plus years, I believe. And, you know, it's funny about these two individuals are just so good to work for and work with in the business. They're part of the community. A lot of people, especially in Pasco County, know about them. Some people even know them personally, um, and they, they take the same approach to the business that I do, right? Customer relationship in Berkshire Hathaway is the number one goal. We always say it's not about the transaction, it's about the relationship. It's giving that customer service, number one is our goal. Which is wonderful because we all know that customers become repeat customers. Absolutely. Right? And happy repeat customers refer us. Absolutely. Right? right. Which, that's gold, right? When you can get someone right. to refer you. So yes. I did not have time. I, we don't have time with the short amount of time that we have together today for me to read through this lovely thing that you've written up for me to read. My bio. Your bio. But <laughs> there's a couple of interesting things at the bottom that I do want you to talk about. Yes. You have a whole bunch of certifications. Like I do. You're, you're like really smart or something. Well, I mean, education is a big piece of real estate, mm -hmm. right? Because at the end of the day, everyone knows probably three or four real estate agents out there. It could mm -hmm. be friends of sure. the family. You may know them personally, maybe a neighbor. Um, not everybody keeps up with their education. So my goal is when I sit down with my broker, Matt Bai, down a countryside, and I, I have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with him usually once a month, right? Because I tell him where I'm at in the business, what's going on in the business. He always asks me how he can help me and be better and be a better broker. Wow. Right? So I have a lot of support there. Uh, Matt is awesome to work for. Um, but I always, always discuss with him in the business, like, where am I from my education standpoint? Right? So recently I was certified in seniors. So I'm a senior residential specialist, which means that I have the education background to help seniors move from point A to B, point B. Maybe, maybe they have a family member where mom's not doing so well, she's living in her home, they need 
they need special services like um, like Organization for Life is a, is a is a program where, or actually a company that comes in and does estate sales, and maybe that family member doesn't know how to get that process started. I can help them with that. Or maybe they're downsizing, or maybe they have financial uh, responsibilities that they're no, no longer able to, um, uh, you know, facilitate. And I would step in and I would help them through the process because really as an agent, my job is to facilitate the process. Right. I take direction from the client. I facilitate the process. Wow. And that's how, that's how we work. And uh, being educated in seniors is a big part of our business. Remember that... In the country today, 10,000 to, 10, to 15,000 people a day are retiring. Wow. Yeah, it's a how lot. Come, how come it's not Clara? That's what I want to know. <laughs> right? How come it's not Chuck? How come, no. how come we're still working? Right. <laughs> I think it's our right. turn. Right. Now, it sounds like you, this is a really important piece of what you do, right? Being able yeah. to say, what are your needs? And then and helping through the whole process, not just make the sale or make the purchase, right? Uh, it's the whole experience that uh, you're helping with. That You know, Claire, I'm so glad you brought that up because that's kind of what I referenced in the beginning of our conversation is that I really want to be that, if you hire me as your agent, you're going to see me from the first, first time all the way through the end of the process. Right. It's not going to be somebody else doing the open houses or somebody else doing the transaction piece. You, really, when you hire me, you're getting me. And I nice. think that's what really sets me apart. So th I don't know a lot about real estate, obviously, that's okay. but that's not common, right? It, it can be some, some, yeah, so, you know, it depends on the agent. It depends, sure. and that would be a question that you'd want to ask your agent. If I list with ah, you, am I going nice. to get you all the way through the process, or is it going to be a team member? You know, because right. in some cases, you think you're listing with that agent, and that agent's only there on the listing appointment, and then all of a sudden... They're not there, and you're dealing with people on the team. That you just don't I, even know. I am not that way. When you, when you When you list with me, you get me. Wow. Now, if there's a case where maybe I do have a couple of listings and I can't do an open house, I will bring a team member in to help me with that open house. But then you're, of course, going to let the, your client know, Abs hey, I'm not going to be there. Abs absolutely. This other person's going to cover for me or whatever. Yes. And then, so here's a complaint that I hear, I hear from other people. Yeah. No, I couldn't get hold of my agent. Right. Uh, or, yeah. I, you know, I emailed 10 times and nobody got back to me. So I can see how that customer service is so, so important. Especially when you're dealing with your biggest asset. Yes. Yikes. Yeah, very, very important. Yikes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Any other of these certifications that are super cool you want to share with us? Well, there's a pricing. There's a pricing okay. uh, strategy. So um, I am certified in pricing, and I have a proprietary program that I use specifically okay. to handle that client's need because um, although we love Zillow, and Zillow is a, is a great yeah. platform to look and reference, um, it's not 100% accurate. It's typically okay. it could be nine percent off either oh. way. If you That's ever click on the on the uh, Zillow estimate and you click on that, it gives you a wide range. I take that information along with other information, and I really hone in on that price because at the end of the day, we need to make sure that our price is realistic. It doesn't right. do anybody any good to list a home so far over just right. because that's what you feel it should be. Right. Um, we really want to make sure that we're accurate on that pricing and it's within a, a, a really good range because you don't want that house on the market for you know a longer period of time where it gets stale and then you're calling me saying, why didn't why aren't you selling, my why house? Are you already selling the house, <laughs> right? You don't right. want, no, you, that doesn't do anybody any good. Right. Because the goal is, is to sell it at a fair price sure. so you can move on with your life. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's the goal. That's interesting. I've yes. never heard of that. Yes. Uh, Pricing strategy. What about some of these others? So the other one is a negotiation expert, really okay. negotiating. Okay. You know, That's different a skill. Mm -hmm. different parts of the contract or different parts of the I should say contract. I should probably say about the terms of the mm -hmm. agreement because it's not only about the selling price. It's what about those other terms? Like, um, what what about the closing time? Do you want to close in oh. thirty days? Do you want to close oh. in forty five days? Or do you need 60 days because you're going into an assisted living facility or, oh. or, and you're representing your mom and dad? Or is it that you really need to move quick and you can close within 30 days or 20 days? Wow. Or, you know, sometimes you will get a cash buyer to come in and say, hey, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll buy it at this price, but I need to close in 20 days. 
Can we negotiate that out? Can we negotiate 30? Can we negotiate something longer or shorter? Really depends on the situation. Every sure. real estate transaction is different. Every single one. Keeps it exciting, right? It keeps it exciting. <laughs> but I'm very good at the negotiation piece. And frankly, it's, it's a, a good part of the job. Yeah. yeah I, it's a and good part of the job. Being certified as having been educated in this piece, yeah. I think would give me as a client comfort. Absolutely. Because I am not a negotiator, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, especially if you're super sweet or, or you know, you have a sad song story. Because, <laughs> you know, right. I tend to be that kind of person. Right. So, right. Anyway. right. Um, so we are just about out of time. Tell me um, if there's one thing that you could say about WPBA that you love. Because let's not forget them. WPBA is a great organization. I'm proud to be also a board member. Um, this is true. You know, one of the things that I, I love about WPBA is that we, you know, that it is is a lead generation group, but we also give back to the community. We do have two big events that we do uh, every year, which is Bowling for Boobs and also uh, The Grinch. And both of those are very dear to my heart. Yeah. I mean, I really enjoy the people, but um, as you know, Clara Maria does a great job. She Barry does. Horvath uh, mm -hmm. does a great job. So um, I'm very proud to be part of that mm -hmm. organization and give back to the community as well as if I get, a, if I get some business from the group, great. that's great. I'm not about the business. I'm really right. about giving back to the community. Right. Yeah, I agree so. with you. Okay, I just want to say thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you coming Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing having me. With us. It's totally my pleasure. Okay. Join us Th again sometime. I will. Thank you All so right. much. Welcome back to Tampa Bay Business Connections. My guest here now is my friend and fellow board member, Eric Anderson. Welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're so animated. I Clara, love that. It's great to be here. Great to see you. Thank you for uh, for hosting. This is a great new uh, opportunity for uh, for us members and um, local business personnel to uh, to get on here and some share some ideas. So yeah. thank you. Yeah. yeah, we appreciate you taking some time and coming on. Thank you. Let's start by talking about Synergy Ad Specialties. That's your business. Tell me yes, about it. Yes, it is. Synergy Ad Specialties. Uh, we're a local uh, promotional products company based here in Pasco County. Uh, we weren't always in Pasco County. County, though we started in 1983, so this is our 37th year of business. What? Yes, because you're like 12. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have grown up in the promotional <laughs> products industry uh, for wow. sure. Uh, a little history: this company was started by my mom, okay. and uh, we were incorporated in New York. And about 15 years ago, we relocated here to Pasco County, and uh, now I'm, you know, running things, and it's uh, it's a wonderful opportunity. It's a really um, I enjoy it very much. It's a uh, yeah, I, I feel like I'm helping businesses grow with promotional products, with um, the opportunity to brand yourself uh, in, your, in our community. Right, so anything that is promotional, right? Pens or sticky notes or uh, shirts yes, or sure, yes. anything promotional. Screen printed and embroidered apparel okay. as well as other methods and sublimation and DTG and um, a great new uh, idea that I've been working with is called stain imaging, which is a great new kind of uh, all over apparel um, alternative because it's 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 like sublimation, but only with cotton. So it's a very I cool don't know what you're saying. Talk to you us guys in English. might, but we'll see. Uh, talk to if us you in go English. to the website, you'll you'll <laughs> see it. I actually I'm very excited. Actually, I think I believe uh, today. Uh, is we're going to be launching our new website, so it's uh, oh, that's okay. www.synergyadspecialties.com, okay. uh, where you're going to find over 500,000. Actually, it's more like 700. See, that, oh, that's the old site right there. It's going to be it's going to be new. Um, it's all revamped and everything now, so it's going to. Okay, be very so cold. it's this stuff, this new stuff you're talking about. You Just can some go new stuff. It's gonna, it's, it. But it's actually, I always say it's 500,000 items. It's actually more like over 700,000 items. So it's wow. just, a, it's just a crazy inventory. It's amazing, but the, the possibilities are endless. We have so many different ideas. Like we said, there's all kinds of apparel, uh, writing instruments, drinkware, a lot of items in, in the technological world. Um, wow. Uh, USB driven things. It's just very, very cool stuff. So anything that you need with your to market your business. Business, to market your, your business. Everybody loves free stuff. They do. Everybody loves do. value ads. Yeah. Uh, and what you're actually doing is you're getting your logo, your information, and your message directly into the hands of, um, of consumers and, right. and potential clients. Right. Something they take home, keep with them, that has your name on it. So the oh, next yeah. time they pick it up and look at it, they go, oh, yeah. I 
remember, you know, that company or whatever. That's right. right. Yeah, Very cool. they say eighty-three percent of the, of, uh, of 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 recipients of promotional products will remember that advertiser. So it's a that's pretty amazing statistic. That is actually. amazing. Yeah. I love the stuff that you reuse, right? Like a, a pen. Oh, so sure. You're not going to throw that away, right? Because right? it's useful to them. A good right? pen has a long life. You know, it's and, it, and it's something that people always like. People, pens are a great example because pens are just such a an inexpensive go-to that it, you can distribute basically anywhere. Someone's right. going to always say, "Where's the pen? I need the pen. I need right. something to write." You get to sign the check when you go to a restaurant or a bar. Right. It's a great actual, actually, a great distribution point for writing hey. instruments. Hint, hint. I because of that. yeah, well, here's the thing. You know, if if the restaurant doesn't supply the pen. The servers usually buy the pen, and they get stolen. You know, they get of they course. give them out. And well, get, inadvertently, probably. Inadvertently, right? right? But you know, usually, you know, nine times out of ten, you could bring a bunch of pens over to a restaurant or a bar. And say, hey, you can use some pens, and normally you'll get a thank you, and right. then you get your pens dispersed uh, throughout the world. I like that. Yeah. So uh, it's funny when you go to a restaurant and then uh, someone, you know, they give you the check with your own pen. That's it. <laughs> So have you had that happen That's, to I've you? I've had it many times, <laughs> actually. That's and awesome. not necessarily at the restaurant that, that I left dropped them off ah, at, too, which is, a, which is wild. There's a new clever marketing thing oh, yeah. spinning in my head. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I need more pens. We I should need, talk. We do, we, you know, we will. <laughs> we, we will, will talk yeah. about that. Um, on, let me make a note of that. Hold on yeah. a second. Gonna, <laughs> you want to make an appointment right now? Right <laughs> okay. Yes, guys. Um, okay, yes. so... Tell me how you're different because there's lots of places you could go. I mean, you could go on the internet, right, and get true stuff. So tell that, me how you're different. That's true. You know, um, the thing though that you you can do that, but what you don't get out of that is any kind of a personalized service. You know, sure. I've been involved with this for many, many years. I'm really happy to, uh, like I said, to help businesses. And I try to steer businesses in the right direction as to what might work for them. We find out items that are relevant, you know, um, you know, there's all kinds of usages for these type of products, whether it's, you call it, let's say, a loss leader, you know, just to get sure. something out there if you're doing a trade show, just something to get into the hands, literally, of people. Um, but then there's also the, the value-added aspect. You also have, um, it's the impressions that you make. It's the gift with service or gift with purchase or in a nonprofit world gifts with donation you know mm, if you make nice. a, a substantial contribution to an organization like WPBA let's say right, you get right. a, you get yes, a free a free gift or <laughs> of some sort that will actually be branded of with that organization oh, right. and which inadvertently is going to be advertising that organization you're going to be taking that right. out into the world and every time you see it as an individual you're reminded of that organization right. and what they do for people or animals or whatever right. whatever, the, whatever cause the cause is. Sure. And then other people in the world see that as well because you're taking that tote bag or that T-shirt or whatever right. it might be and people will see it. Because every item that's produced and distributed creates multiple impressions over an extended period of time reminding people about you and your business and your organization and your cause. And that's really what brings it all home right there. I mean, that's... Sound like a marketing person. Are you... <laughs> right? me, you know what? That sounded that's pretty awesome. good. I was just doing it yes, off the yes, cuff. Yes. Let me write that down, you too. Should, you should record that one. That. <laughs> that's awesome. So now, not everyone may know this about you, but you do something else as well. I do. Other than just promotional stuff. I play with plastic in the tables. You can, yes, you know, it's like fidget a, stuff. A fidget. Thing. No. No. Uh, <laughs> Well, I, I'm also a local musician. I think ah, that's what you were getting at. That was what I was getting yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. Uh, local area musician. I've uh, been playing for as, as long as I've been uh, involved with promotional products. Let's wow. Say. <laughs> so it's it's the other half. You know, I have my, my promotional half and I have my musical mm. half. But... Um, yeah, are you could find me locally performing usually solo acoustic mm -hmm. classic rock and roll. Uh, EricAndersonMusic.com. You could actually you know check me out there. Um, that's website under development. Under development. Coming, coming okay. Along. okay. Also, you can see my listings for shows on GoTonight.com, which is another great great real resource. But also. Um, 
I play with a, a band now uh, called the U.S. Stones, which is uh, it's just the U.S. Stones dot com. It's a Rolling Stones tribute band. Oh, fun! And uh, fun. we play all over Florida, and it's really wow. a great uh, opportunity to come out and, and hang out and listen to the music of the Rolling Stones. And uh, we do a great job, and it's uh, just a lot of fun. Something and I'm, and I'm Keith Richards. Who else? You know, yeah. you get to you get to. <laughs> To be Keith Richards. I mean, yeah, who else? How can, bad is that? Like, right? It's very. It's a lot of fun, actually. He's a he's a, he's a fun character to uh, to replicate to because you can, you get to mis, mix um, mismatch animal prints and get away with it. <laughs> Please tell me you don't. Tell, <laughs> oh no! I'm who just, else can? But I'm Keith just frightened Richards. by that whole thing. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know, zebras and leopards. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, all, it's all yeah. good. So that's the reason that you don't go to the early morning WPBA events, right? You, you, yeah, I have a, <laughs> yeah this, this is true. Yeah, yeah. I, I prefer that. my afternoon yeah. and evening uh, events and, and because of my schedule is a little different than most. Yeah. But, uh, you know, a little bit of a night owl and such. So it, that's how it is. So you. which chapter are you involved in then? I'm involved with the, with the Monday lunch chapter and mm -hmm. the Tuesday evening chapter. Okay. And I'm also on the board with, with yes. you and, and yes. Chuck. And uh, I've been a member of WPBA for, gosh, um, probably, I don't know, eight years. Years now, I think it's wow. been it's been quite a like, while. Like from the so beginning, the, the beginning at Barry's office at, at the evening on Tuesday night only. Saying, and, should yeah. we do this or shouldn't we do this? Right, <laughs> right. right. And. Um, been on the board now. I guess it's going on two years. I think so. Okay. So it's yeah. So it's a great organization. If you've, you know, Chuck actually summed it up pretty mm -hmm. well uh, earlier as far as what um, it, what we do for the community. I mean, it's 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 there's some great leads and great contacts that you make, and and uh, you know the opportunities to network with your with other members is always key because you get to learn about what they have available, what they do, and right. how we can all help each other, but also uh, collectively how we're helping the community, right. which is a really uh, amazing thing. I mean, they do just, some really cool stuff. The great, the great events that we have, like the Bowling for Boobs in October, uh, how the Grinch saved Christmas in December, helping local families is just absolutely outstanding. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love that part of WPBA, but I also love that as a business owner, I get to go and network with these other people who are um, just as passionate about helping the community, but and not just network, but I'm building relationships. Yes. Right? Because that's what it's all about. The relationships organically lead to doing business together. Of course. Right? Yes. And feeling confident. I know you're going to take good care of people, so I can trust you with referrals. It's who you know, right. like, and trust is what it comes down to. The only way you can Sounds really like get cliche, to... Sounds like a cliche, but it's true. It's very true. Yeah. It's how you get to know, like, and trust somebody is when you spend considerable time with them. The more time that you spend, the more involved that you get, the more you can know and like and trust right. somebody. It's just, you know... That's just how it is. Right. And it's a great thing. <laughs> and, and I appreciate so much having the opportunity to um, go somewhere on a consistent basis because the statistics actually prove that those relationships are built with that consistency. Mm -hmm. So having a place I can go every single week is a big deal for me. Yeah. Right. Show up and see the same faces and, and I know them. Yeah. I do like them. Most of them. <laughs> <laughs> and Consistency I trust is key, Con you know, yeah, and, that, and yeah. that's what it is. You know, yeah. it's, it's it can't be just haphazard. You know, there has yeah. to be some level of consistency, and that's yeah. how, how you build a relationship. Yeah. Just like dialogue is key in yeah. in all of this, and in, in including in business, you can't know what somebody wants unless you talk to them. Yeah, and uh, that's, that's again going back to the internet stuff. You're not going to get that that way as a liaison. You know, you can yeah. you can talk to me, and I can help you with all that stuff. So we are just about out of time. We're out of time. That I goes so fast. It thank really you does. for coming My and pleasure. being with us today. Thank you. We will see you in a few minutes with our next guest. All right. And welcome back to Tampa Bay Business Connections. Our next guest is my friend and fellow WPBA member, uh, Gigi Evans. Welcome. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. You too. Thank you so much for coming out today and being with us. Oh, of course. I'm happy to be here. I would love to learn more about Dynamic Title Services and what you do, my friend. Oh, well, actually, for Dynamic Title, I am actually their marketing representative. So yeah. um, I am a licensed title agent, and I am a notary, uh, but... Uh, and I have had my own agency before, but I kind of closed it down to go to work for, for Dynamic Title. And now I mainly do the um, closings and okay. out marketing and doing my thing. So you're marketing and closings for right. Dynamic Title Services. Correct. And I fill in if they need me, of course, because okay. I can do it from A to Z, but, you know. Uh Interesting. So, so uh, what made you decide to not have your own agency anymore and to go well, with another agency? a couple of different agency? things. Um, first of all, I, 
it's hard to do it from A to Z. You know, you get <laughs> you get you get I, yeah. an order, and then you got to do a title search report, and then you got to examine that search when it comes in. You got to do a title commitment. You got to do all the hands-on stuff, sure. and um, you know, I'm getting up there. I kind of want to. Oh, now. my my goal is to be a trophy wife, but that doesn't happen yet. So. <laughs> but you're already married, so right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that's you know, I've been telling my husband that for a long time. Right. <laughs> He's just not coming through, right? No, really. So I have to make my own money. I'm going to be my own trophy wife. There soon. you go. <laughs> <laughs> Too cute. So not only in your own agency do you have to do everything from A to Z, but that also includes marketing yourself, of right? Of course, of course. To bring in the business. So right. this gives you the opportunity for um, someone else to work on some of the pieces. Exactly. So your marketing, is that something that you really love? Oh, I do, I do. Okay. I've been a member of WPBA for quite some time. And prior to even being a member, I was part of WPBA in my heart In forever. your heart, oh. So um, I've been a chamber girl. I'm women in wim women helping women, women in networking about probably 12, 12 different groups that I wow. belong to, you know, where so I you um, love to market. I do. Or do you I just do. love to socialize? Yes, that too. <laughs> that too. Yes. I'm a party girl. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I love networking as well. Me Not too. a lot of people do, but I, yeah. I really love That's to That's where we so met. That is where we yes. met. Do you remember where we met? I don't even remember. Uh, I don't know. It was prior to. It's probably chamber days. Yeah, could I have think been. It might have been chamber could days. Been. Wow, it's been a while, hasn't yep. it? Yeah. Okay, so tell me. Um, what it is that you do for them that um, that you love the most? Well, I think mainly just letting people, education. I uh, love okay. telling people how the process works, how you go from a contract to turn it into something that actually can be sold to somebody. So there's so many things that you need to do to perfect the title to the property before you can actually uh, give a clear title and do a deed that's wow. going to be transferring to somebody without any liens or judgments or encumbrances or um, there's wow. a whole lot behind the scenes to make sure that that's a perfected title. Sometimes there's sort outstanding mortgages, you know, <laughs> that were never satisfied of record. They may be paid in full, but that's one of the things that I definitely check for, you know, to make sure, sure that everybody, everybody that's involved in the transaction is actually the one that's like supposed to sign the deed. <laughs> So sounds important. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. Um, you can have. I could sign a deed to you right now, a quick claim deed, and it's not actually giving you the property because I don't own it. So wow. So there's all kinds that of different. Me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's, Ford and Fraudery is probably wow. Ford. No, what is it called? Um, forgery and fraud. Fraud and forgery, sorry about that. There it is. But um, yes, that is a whole lot of what we do is to uh, you know eliminate that. It, there's so much going on out there, you know, even sending an escrow deposit. That's, you know, people are stealing the information and sending wow. an email out that says, you know, hi, I'm Gigi, send me your money, but it actually isn't it's not me Gigi. that ah. you're sending your money to, so that's a problem too. So how do you avoid that? Well, we have different things, especially on our emails that say stop. Don't go any further. Call your title agency. Make yeah, sure okay. that you are sending the money, the proper amount of money, and to the property to the right place. place. Wow. Um, we also do not put our account number on the wiring instructions. It says, please call. So that way we make sure Get that... Get live. Exactly. And the person that's sending the wire, I, I tell my customers all the time, you are either going to speak with me or Cheryl or Kristen or Cassie, if anybody else is calling you. It's not us. It's exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. It's not us. So we have to make sure that um, that the people are sending the money to the right place. Yeah. So This sounds like a really important piece that people just don't know about. Oh, like my I gosh. Would, I would not have known any of that. Yeah. Right? Well, that's why I was saying my educa educating people is one of the most important things that you can do, you know. So I just try to ease them through the process, let them know from beginning to end, what they're going to be getting into. And even the mortgage professionals or, or um, real estate professionals, they need help too. You know, it's, it's, it's like somebody like Chuck. It's very good for him to know the process so that he can help his customer. Sure. So the more that we can educate and teach not just the professionals but also the customer, it's going to help them through the process and kind of, you know, get them where they feel a little more comfortable sure. um, 
I was talking to somebody today that said their daughter was purchasing a property. Well, the dad had let them, or the, it was actually the property appraiser that was at our, our meeting today. We have a, a monthly lunch and learn for our realtors. And um, our property appraiser, his daughter was purchasing a property. And the main thing those kids worry about is, when's my, can I have the key? <laughs> you know? Well, right, so right. That's what we care about. <laughs> so they don't hear all the things that happen at the closing, mm -hmm. which means, you know, they didn't know that they have to apply for a homestead exemption or um, sure. get that done before... Uh, they have to reside on the property by January 1st. Well, you can't apply for the homestead exemption if you don't live there by January 1st. So yeah, there's so just all so kinds of different things. Know. Yeah, which is why you, the pile of them. you hire a professional. Exactly. Right? Right. Exactly. So, so is there something that makes you stand out from other title experts? Well, um, one of the things that I do is I'm available to you 24-7. If I'm not playing bingo or in church <laughs> or in the shower, you got me. You got me. That's so, awesome. Um, basically, I, uh, if, if you call my office, there's an extension uh, that you can push to get me, and I'm going to answer the phone. I'll, I'll even see, it, it, you know, it's a little bit different now, but we used to do short sales. And these realtors are out in the public, and they're trying to, uh, get this negotiation done, and they have to present to the bank first thing on Monday morning that this seller wants to sell this property. Will the bank accept this amount of money as the payoff, a short payoff to to purchase, you know, to sell the property? Right. So they need to present to them a, a closing statement that says this is how much you're going to end up getting. And I'll do it while I'm watching the football games on Sunday, you know, and get wow. that to them. So first thing Monday morning when that bank gets in there, those people are ready to go. Wow. So a lot of people don't Customer even answer service. the phone, you know. The door closes at 5 o'clock and that's it. They're out of there. <laughs> exactly. See you Monday about 9-ish. <laughs> so, um, but I'm available 24-7. Wow. And I'm also, uh, I also do things for my clients the customer are the people purchasing and selling. The client is the realtor, the mortgage person, that kind of stuff, the builder. And what I try to do, I advertise not only under notary, I am a mobile notary, and under licensed title agent, title company, but I also put down, um, I have ads under mortgage consultant and real estate consultant. So if somebody calls me and they're looking for a realtor, I can send you to a good realtor. A good fit for that. Right. Um, I can send you to a good mortgage person. So yes. those are the things that I pride myself on because there's a lot of people out there that really aren't fun to work with. And <laughs> I, well, you know, the wonderful world of real estate, what can you do? So, but um, there are some wonderful people out there and I sure. like to steer you to the right person. And you're right. You need somebody that's going to fit right for your customer. Right. Whether it's a fe female or a male or, you know, um, whether it's it's same community, you know, it, it just depends. Everybody's different. Right. Everybody works with somebody a little bit different, too. And I think it's super important to have somebody that you know is in your corner. Yes. Right? Oh, <laughs> so most you certainly. Can say, I don't know what I'm doing. Please help me. Yes, exactly. Because <laughs> right? well, it's that's not our field, it, right? It, we right. have our own specialties. We rely on a professional to help us navigate the waters of something exactly. that we don't know. And I would never, ever buy a house without a title search report and title insurance. Yeah. I wouldn't want somebody, I wouldn't want to buy a house without a survey. You know, you got to make sure that house is on the lot <laughs> or you got to make sure that right? property that you're purchasing is actually your lot. You wouldn't want to put a pool in the backyard and find out it's, it's on the next yard. door neighbor's <laughs> yard. So, you know, same yeah. with the mortgage people. I mean, that's yeah. the first thing you do is go to get your mortgage. It's kind of like women are told before you get married, you have to find the, the, uh, uh, before you find the guy, you have to find the reception hall because those are all... Because <laughs> they're booked up. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So there's different things that, you know, you got to do first comes, first serve. As soon sure. as you walk in the door for a real estate transaction, every action, there's a reaction. So you get a search, you do a commitment. 
you get the commitment to the people, now they have to answer the questions. You have to order the payoffs. You have to do everything that that commitment wow. tells you to do. So there's a whole lot to it. I'd be glad to do an hour program for you that will yeah. touch this much <laughs> of it. My so. brain is like swimming with all the stuff that I don't know Yes, at that well, moment. I don't know what I don't know. know. I'll help you. <laughs> right? That's why we Happy hire professionals. Help. Most certainly. That's absolutely and true. And that's why we deal with the people we do with WPBA because they're all professionals at what they do. They're wonderful people. Um, I know noticed you were telling, asking Chuck what, you know, what's your favorite part of WPBA? And it's the heartfelt thing. Right. So the heart stuff. Yeah. Well, we're just about yep. out of time, but thank you so much for coming out and thank sitting you. with me today, talking about your business. Thank you. Giving some love to WPBA. Oh yeah. Um, I appreciate your time sure. so much. Thank we you. We will be right back. Bye. Hey there. Welcome back. Guess what? That's right. You get the other co-host interviewing the co-host, <laughs> yes. about her business. Now, Miss Clara Rose, I've known for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. I, I would say almost four or five years. Yeah, at least. At I'm least. Um, <clears throat> and so I've known you from another company. Actually, I know you. I originally met, originally met you at the coffee house. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. Interesting. so that's where I know Miss Clara from originally, but we worked with another company, which is still a part of this. So you have... Your new company is Influence Matters. Mm -hmm. So talk to me about Influence Matters. Okay. So what you may or may not know is that for many years I did business development consulting. So I actually did it that I before did we, okay, so under um, Creative Alliance. So for many years I did that. And when I opened the coffee shop, I actually was still consulting. So my brilliant plan was that I could consult in my own coffee shop. Right? That's brilliant. Isn't that right? Oh my God, that's <laughs> isn't what a that good? good? <laughs> right? That was come my in, plan. have some coffee, that's and we'll right. talk about your business. That's yeah, that's right. And it worked well at first, but as we got busy, then I didn't have as much time to consult, and I ended up selling the coffee shop um, ultimately because it just interfered with. Right. the consulting practice. Um, and I had taken all of my years of business development consulting and kind of mushed it down into the stuff that I thought was the most important stuff. Right. And that's when I started working um, with people specifically on the written word. So um, Rosedale was born. Rosedale. Right? Yep. So we, to this day, I still publish works under the Pressmark and Rosedale. And you had a show on Weaving TV. Yes, yes, Rosedale. we did. Absolutely. We had a, um, for a short time. For a short time. Right? And, and then some things changed in my business. Yep. I had a partner that came and went. Um, and I started working on kind of getting back to some of the pieces that I felt like were missing. So influence um, is, is not accidental. Right? So influence is something you plan for and you do on purpose. One of the things that brings influence quickly is writing a book. So while I spent a couple of years just honing in on that piece, I could see that the other pieces were still missing for right. building influence quickly. So I just morphed a little bit and said, okay, let's bring a couple of those other pieces back into the business that I think are super important. So. Influence Matters is about writing, speaking, and leading as a way to create influence for yourself and generate more leads for your business, ministry, or cause. Wow. That, it, that, you know, I've, I've, heard, I've, I've heard the word influence, um, and it's just, to me, after a while, it got overused because I'm, sure. a, I'm a YouTube influencer, or I'm an Instagram influencer, or I'm a Facebook in, uh, influencer, or I'm a LinkedIn influencer. It's like... We can't all be influenced. Right. <laughs> That's we true. It just can't Everyone happen. Everyone isn't. <laughs> um, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll talk to people all the time and go, well, yeah, I'm kind of an influencer. I said, really? Doing what? And then they're like, well, I do these little short videos. And don't get me wrong. I'm all about video. That's much right. my world. Right. your jam. <laughs> but you got to have something to back that up. And right. so the written word becomes, if you've got a book, that means that you've sat down and really th thought through what you're doing. Right. It's and not, you have something to say, right? <laughs> and and so that's so that's how and so you're helping people. In the beginning, we're helping them write the books. Right. You were right. You were you put the whole thing. I mean, ghost writing the whole right. nine yards, right? Right. right. If you need that, um, what I love is um, developmental editing. So I love to sit down with someone and say, okay, what is the message that you have? What do you have to say? Let's get it on 
paper where we can work with it. Let's create a good outline for a book, right? right? And then let them write the chapter based on the outline we create, right? Because you, you need a pattern to follow or a blueprint to follow. So we start with the, a brainstorm and blueprint. And then the author will write a, a chapter and send it to me, and I'm going to make it pretty. Right? Developmental edit means I'm looking at your outline and making sure you stuck to it, because that's important. We're also looking for good sentence structure and good grammar and good punctuation. And you know, sometimes I move things around. Sometimes I have to re-say them in a different way that right. is more clear or makes sense. Um, so that's one chapter at a time. We work through the process until the book's done, and then I format it to be published. And you can publish under my press mark, Rosedale Publishing, or you could take it to an agent and publish somewhere else, or if you want, you can self-publish. That, that piece, I'm not as interested in that piece. I'm not structured like a traditional publishing house where they are tied to the, the sale of your book, right. right? You pay me for my services up front. When you sell the book, 100% of the profit is yours. I don't, I'm not You're in not that part. You're not looking for the back right, of it. Right, right. You're not I'm, Amazon. I'm not. I'm looking to cr help you create a tool that has a purpose, right? right? Okay. So we start with the writing, and then we say, okay, where can you go speak to gain some influence for yourself? Right. Right? That could be at an association, that could be at a networking group, or for some people, they're going in front of, of groups of people that are going to be, are targeted specifically right. for, so you, speaking's not rocket science, but you have to have a plan, right? So I'm going to help you craft your signature speech. Right? So now you might be speaking and maybe selling your book at the back of the room as well. Right. Or referencing your book, right? And then we talk about leading as a way to not only get involved in your community, but some form of leadership that's going to get you visibility, get you in front of people. Now, this sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm like, okay, when you tell me how something goes, just get me to the end. How do I get to the end? But it, you, it's you, a process. This is a process. You have to, right. you have to have a plan in place. Yes. It's not just going to happen tomorrow because right. you decide it's going to happen. Right. Success is, is a matter of influence, but influence is not accidental. Right? We have to plan for it. So that's, that's really my job is to sit down with somebody and say, okay, where do you want to be? Right? What, are you, what are you trying to do? Now let's create a plan to get you there. And we do that with writing, usually a book. Sometimes it's articles, things right. of that nature, getting you in the right magazines, but most often it's a book. Where can we get you speaking so that people are going to see you? And then where can we get you plugged in and leading so that people are going to look at you or look to you as a person of influence? So we are creating a plan together to make it happen for you. <clears throat> and that's what influence matters. So is. if I, if, Say I came to you and said, okay, I want to be an influencer. <clears throat> Here's an idea for a book. Here's my idea for my video series. And then I want to start speaking. Is, is there a standard timeline for people? There really is a standard timeline. Okay. I like to chunk out um, a minimum of six months. Okay. Right? So sometimes someone will come to me and say, you know, I have this event coming up here and I'd like to have my book done. And if we have a minimum of four months, we can make it happen. Right? Wow. It takes, we can make it happen. That means you, the author, you got to be on the ball, right? You got to get that chapter written and get it over to me so I can edit. I'm going to get it back to you. We're going to hop on a Zoom call. We're going to go over it, make sure we're both happy with the edit choices. Um, and then we're going to move on to the next chapter. But if I don't get your chapter for three weeks... <laughs> <laughs> You're right? the only person that's messing the timeline up. <laughs> right? right? Yes, that's right. So okay. if you're willing to dedicate to a schedule, then yes, we can be done in four months with the book. Right? And we usually start with the book. But we'll plan out at the very beginning. We sit down and do a mastermind together. Like, all right, let's look at it for a strategic plan here. What do you want to accomplish? What do you have to say? And let's piece it together. And then we'd plan it out. So some people, I work an entire year. Um, last year, that, well, even the, it was like into the year before that, I worked for 18 months with one client, wow. one specific client. Yeah, just was, um, I was ghostwriting, and it just took us a really long time for him to be available. And the and so it, sometimes it just works that way. But we plan that up front. Like, okay, here's the plan. Here's the goal. And then I'm there to say, 
has a chapter <laughs> coming. <laughs> Haven't seen your chapter yet, John. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, believe it or not, I actually sat down and we, we I was going to do mm-hmm. a, a book and not that... Mm-hmm. Uh, I have not done anything I, in my personal in my personal mind that I, I, I got halfway through going like no one's going to read the life of John and you know and the thing of it is we all think we're experts. Have you ever had to? You sit, are an expert. Have you <laughs> ever had to sit down and go, hey, I've read all this, <clears throat> and I just don't think you're going to potentially you don't have potential. You know, it's a great great read about. It's good for you mm-hmm. for your family to give them to, but. I don't think an influencer is what you're really meant to be. Yeah, sometimes it isn't about influence. For some people, they want to write something to leave a legacy, or they, you know, they want to write something that's just for their family, right? It doesn't have anything to do with being an influencer. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's not my target market is all, right. right? And there's some people that, oh, I have this story to tell, but it falls outside of my comfort zone. Right. Right. So those people say, this isn't a good fit for me. I'm going to be working really closely with that person and really intimately with the words that they use. Mm -hmm. And so it's got to be a good fit for me or it just doesn't work for me. (coughs) Are you taking on new clients right now? Uh, Of course. So how can people get a hold of you? Um, super easy to find. Super easy. Super easy. You can hop on over to, um, ClaraRose.com or send me an email, hello at ClaraRose.com. I like that, hello. hello. Everybody's like, oh, you can get me an info at or John at or blah, blah, blah at. It's like, no, hello, hello at, at ClaraRose.com. It is about a conversation. And here's the truth. People don't understand how much words matter. Right. Right? Words matter. So that's why hello. It's, <coughs> it's an invitation to, to say hello to It's really to cool. Me. I'm actually Thank thinking you. about kind of stealing that. Totally do. I may do I'm cool hey, with y'all. that. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. All right. So stick around because we have one more segment. and It'll be back to us. Um, we're going to talk about, because Tampa Bay Business Connections, it's all about getting the networking world put together. Mm-hmm. So when we come back, this show tonight has been on WPBA. Mm-hmm. And now you've seen the members. Now we're going to sit back and talk about what WPBA is, does, and how you can be a part of it because there's plenty of opportunities. We'll be right back after these messages. All right. Welcome back to the final segment of Tampa Bay Business Connections. Now we're going to talk about the group. And that is, this is a networking group that I've been a part of for, oh my God, I've been a part of it for seven years, maybe a little bit longer. Um, it's WPBA West Pasco Business Pinellas Pinellas yes Association. They you actually We've added you didn't that. change the acronym. You just changed right. The, the, you change you added Pinellas right. because now we have we have networking groups in Pinellas yes. County, which yes. is absolutely awesome. But We're growing now, you you would figure it as long as I've been on or been a part of this that I would be on a board or something like that. But I just I I made a rule. I don't no longer <laughs> sit on boards. Ever. Um, it's a lot of work. It is. Well, it's too much. And, yeah. and and I don't want to commit to something I can't do. But WPBA is probably one of the more community-minded mm-hmm. networking groups that I've ever been a yeah. part of. And I've been a lot of part of a lot of. I mean, I've been I've been I've done the BNI. I've done the NPI. I've done right. I've done all those, which it's all about the group. Right. And lead, 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 right. lead, 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 lead. Um, and those are great and all. But they're a lot of work. They are. They're <clears throat> commitment. And WPBA, huge. totally the opposite. Now, th- it is a networking group, so we do sure. want to use each other for business. Sure. But tell us, tell us about the goal. I know because I know a lot of things have changed in the last couple of years about where WPBA is going. Right. So um, West Pasco Pinellas Business Association. We didn't go WPPBA because. Oh. That's just too much, That's right? That's just too hard. So we start, we start, and it would just be, it doesn't fit in our little box, no. right? There's four boxes. It doesn't work. So WPBA. We squared. Yeah, yeah, we could do P squared. WP squared BA. Yeah, there you go. We could do that. I'll bring it up at the board meeting. (laughs) So I, uh, yeah, thanks, John. I am on the board, um, the advisory board, because reads. Right, speak, lead, right? So right. taking a leadership role is smart for me 
because it helps me to build influence for myself Correct. and for my business. So I am, it is a commitment, right? It's, you know, the monthly board meetings, you're helping to shape an organization. And I do it for that purpose in part. I also do it because um, I, I love WPBA. I love the, um, the heart of what they do. Yes, we have you know, connection groups, if you, if you want to call them that, they're chapter right. groups where you connect and really get to know a certain group of people, business owners. Right. But as a whole, we're doing some really amazing things like the, the Bowling for Boobs, which is really about yeah, helping. Chuck, Chuck, our first guest. Yes, talked about that. The first guest that I was that. talking about was yep. <clears throat> Bowling for Boobs. And yep. um, it's not one of the older events that we do. But it is probably the one of the biggest, other than other than the Grinch. Right, the Grinch is our biggest for sure. We but. literally sell out a bowling alley. Yes, and, the entire bowling alley. And not alley. only do we yeah. sell out a bowling alley, we sell out spectator seats. Yes, yes. So it's, it's not packed. just the teams that are bowling. Yeah, it's actually we. People pay to be a spectator, yes, which they is do. absolutely amazing. I'm like, going, why awesome. would you pay that money to sit there and watch people drink and bowl that can't bowl? I mean, that I can't bowl. I used yeah. to be. I was back younger. I was a bowler. I mean, I was a 200, 250 wow. average. I was good. Yeah, I bowled at Miss, Miss Bowling for Boobs. Yeah, 170. Kinda. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. But it yeah. isn't about the bowling, no, right? No, it's not about it, the bowling. It, and that's the cool thing. It's hard to... I, 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 envy, I, don't, I pity you women sometimes because we had to wear a bra. <laughs> we had to do our own bras. The guys did, right? Yeah. And that was awkward. Yeah. Bowling is awkward with things in the way. <laughs> I mean, goodness gracious. There you go. Yes. I, it's hmm. a great cause, it right? And that's cause. why people are willing to cancer. pay to come out and watch people right. bowl because it's about helping those people in our community that have been touched by yeah. a breast cancer diagnosis. And it's diagnosis. good food. At, yes, we have good food. Oh, my God. Food is phenomenal. And fun, right? Yeah. It's just oh, we have a fun. Blast. Yeah. It's, it's a good time. If you leave there going, I didn't have a good time, I don't, you were in There's the wrong place. There's something wrong with you. You were not in right, the right place. Right. I'm just saying right now <laughs> because, I mean, and everybody, the who's who's are there. Yeah. Which is really kind of, I mean, the, the hoo-hoo's come out. The hoo-hoo's come the out. Right? Come, well, hell no, I hope the hoo-hoo's don't come out. <laughs> all right, all the right. The who's who of Pasco <laughs> who and Pinellas, they show up. Yeah. Yeah, it's, re it's really, really cool. Yeah. I, I mean, and my, I, I think this year was the first year of my, uh, some of my crew came. And they, they've never done it before. And they're like, well, that was kind of cool. I'm like, yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, it is very cool. We really need a bigger bowling alley. Yeah. Right? So do. one of the things we're talking about at um, the board meeting is, we have so many people we're turning away, right? Yeah. We can't take more teams because <clears throat> nope. there's only so many lanes. So we need more lanes. We're trying to come up with a clever way to utilize the number of lanes we have in a way that more people can participate because people want to be a part of this amazing event. Right. Might have to be a two-day so. event. Oh, two-day. We hadn't thought of tournament, that. Tournament Thanks, style. John. <laughs> You're welcome. Give it to John. Idea guy. Uh, yeah. I actually saw a guy's license plate that said idea man. Idea I'm man. Like, oh, geez. Like, You're a little fool yourself. Shoot me. Uh, yeah, but then the next big one. The, the Grinch is, the Grinch. is really the now, biggie. This yeah. year's Grinch. Now, I've been, I've been to every single Grinch there has been. Um, even the very first one, which was a short sell seminar. That's a scary And that's how it started. Yeah. All and we were yeah. at the Border Realtors, the Sunset Room back in the back. Yeah. That's where we did it. And we it was kind of funny. We had a 50-50. So the, so instead of anybody taking the money, they took it and helped the family. And then we're like, oh hey. This is good. We should this do is this. Good. We could do this. How do we do this? This more? is we can do this yes. a lot. So we did. And that's yeah. how that's how that started. I just i blew my mind. But it I mean, this year's event, we helped uh, four, four families. Well, we helped a lot more. What people don't understand is we, there were families that we supported. Right. And then there was other families <coughs> that didn't make the, um, the, the, whatever they call the judging or whatever the, the right, selection. Right, we have to pare it down, right? <clears throat> but there were a few other families that we did help also. Yes. You yes. Know, so, the, and so no one ever, no one ever does not get help. Right. Uh, I don't think. Um, but this year, Stacy Kemp, and I'm going to talk about Stacy Kemp because she she brought she brought an element that has not been has not been done, yeah. and she got up and did the live ask yeah. for this one family. Yeah. And I mean, it was match after match. She yeah, was, it was everything that, that everything that someone said they get, she matched. Yeah, that's amazing. It blew my mind. I'm thinking to myself, okay. 
And that's another one. We're busting at the yeah. seams. Yeah. I, it was practically standing room only this year. Right. It was great. We, I, actually, they had to do different tables. We've yes. in the past done all rounds. Yes. And they had to go to the outer walls being you know, the, the straight, right? right? Just to fit the number <clears throat> of people. Yep. It, was, it was crazy packed. Yeah, so we took care of some great families. We did. Very needy families. Um, but, you know, but throughout the year, WPBA does some really cool stuff like we do bus trips. Yes, <clears throat> yes. To the Lightning fun game stuff. and to the Rays games. Yep. And, and I think there's, there's, there was a couple of Bucks tailgaters this yep. year. Yep. So. It's about getting... Um, the networking groups together to build relationships, yeah. right? Just like and other show people, here. yeah, right. Other people can come as well. You know, you don't have to be a, a part of WPBA in order mm -hmm. to um, to be on the bus trip or whatever. Right. I don't do buses, so I haven't been on any because Clara a few. throws up on buses. Yeah, <laughs> she a, doesn't go. I'm a noise. <coughs> too much noise. Too much noise. It, it, it gets me, and and they do get loud. Yeah. So I think I on the next bus trip or something like that, my wife and I decided that um, we want to go. We want to be a part of the group. Right. And that we'll we'll drive ourselves. Drive. Yeah. Yes. And then just go set with everyone. I don't, we don't. I I'm one of the few that I don't drink. Yeah. I mean, I drink, but I don't drink at on this trip. Right. So um, so for me to drive down there to watch a hockey game yeah. and drive back home, it's, I I love to drive, so I don't really care. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I'm not going to drink and get in a vehicle that moves. Because yeah, I don't drink very often, yeah. but I get but motion sickness. Fun. Oh easily. my gosh, some people. They, I know. They the have pictures a, are wild. It, we have a good <laughs> yes. time. I don't know if, if, we, if they, anybody really truly watches all the hockey game. Because they're too busy having fun. <coughs> too a good busy time. having fun. Yeah. We're, up, yeah. we're up in the nosebleed seats and stuff like yeah. that. <laughs> it's great. Having a good time. Yep. It's building relationships because that's what organically leads. To doing business exactly. with now, each so, other. So how many groups are there now? I mean, we have five. Have five. Yes, so we have Monday, a Monday Tuesday, lunch. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. No, Monday lunch, Tuesday breakfast, breakfast, and Tuesday after Ooh, hours. Two on Tuesday. Yes, nothing on Wednesday. Okay. Um, poor Maria has to breathe at some point. She runs all the meetings. True. We have a Thursday lunch, and then we have a Friday breakfast. Yeah. So there's a time for... For anybody, whatever your business, you know, needs are, or your ability to get out and do something, there's something for everybody. And they're kind of spread around. Right. You know, we have um, Newport Ritchie, Trinity. They're kind of spread out. And then our Thursday is actually our Pinellas group, and they're all the way down at Giovanni's. I went to that one. Yes. I went to that one last Thursday. The food down there food is so was amazing. Absolutely phenomenal. I had the a food is. <coughs> good. I literally was coming off of this stupid cold that I've mm -hmm. got, and um, I, I, I literally, and I, before I even looked at the menu. Um, and that's the way I said, you should just have a grilled cheese and soup, just a tomato soup. Yeah. She goes, oh, it's on there. Yeah, and it's good. Oh, my God, is it it's good? It's like really good. Yeah, yeah. so their, their Brussels sprouts are amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So if you love Brussels sprouts, you like even like Brussels sprouts, have the Brussels sprouts at Giovanni. <clears throat> yeah, Friday morning, is, <laughs> Friday morning is at Oasis, Oasis Coffee. Oasis, yeah, amazing uh, coffee. You're good, really, really good. That's the one I normally went to, but now that we've... Gotten more shows on mm. We Being TV. I Friday mornings uh, I can no longer might go. I might work. better go for like thirty minutes, but then I got to leave. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so Mondays is where? Um, it's at uh, Johnny Brusco's. Johnny Brusco's yeah, for the luncheon, and, and then Tuesday morning is at the Hampton Inn Odessa. Okay. Um, Tuesday evening. Flamestones. Flamestones. Yes. Thursday at Giovanni's yep. in Palm Harbor, and then Friday morning at Oasis. Yeah. And we're always doing stuff. So it, it, look, if you're if you're looking to get a get a, a, be a part of a networking group yep. in the Pasco with heart South or North Pinellas, I would say right yeah. now North Pinellas. Yeah. Go to the website; it's on there. Um, <clears throat> now, if you're an, if you are a networking networking group out there, and you want, hey, I want to be on Tampa Bay Business Connections. We yeah. do travel. We have we have a location in Tampa to shoot, as well as we shoot in Port mm -hmm. Ritchie, and we will even go to St. Pete. So if you want to be a part of that, John at WeBeamTV.com. Go to the website. Say you want to be yep. a part of us. We will see everybody next Thursday.